2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is times 8. Okay, so 12 times 8. Oh, wait, does that include... No, you actually roll You roll the for dice. all of them. Dude, the and write it all... Wait up. Give give me the numbers yes. as you roll them out. What, what was the first one? Okay, 12. All right. So, 10. Okay. This is so great. Oh, my God. Chris, you plan all these beautiful <laughs> encounters. very long time in the making. Oh, my God. Okay, so what are you doing? Um, keep, keep, keep doing the rolling. Okay. You can do your video on the uh, roll while I think about it. Okay, let's see. Uh, that's ten. Nine. This is pretty good. It's going down, though. It needs to go back up the other direction. Nine. Jeff, no, back up the other direction, okay? You were good. You were doing well with twelve. Nine. Okay, all right, I'll take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four. All right. One more. Twelve. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't mind. And what is that? A plus. <laughs> plus nine total for, um, power attack alone. Plus two from weapon is eleven. Wait, plus nine base from power attack? Yeah, you're double handing. Plus two from weapon, so that's yeah. Wait, does do those multiply? Those math. those don't multiply. Say the math is seven. Yes, they do. Okay. All things that are static multiply. It's only dice that don't. So nine and the base dice do. It's just like fire damage and holy damage that don't. Nine plus or sneak attack. The weapon just two plus strength. Which is you're right, seven. Because you said it's strength and a half, which is five plus two, yeah, so seven. Okay. You added uh two and seven to that? Um, did I add two and seven to that? Yeah. What, what for? Nine, two, and seven. Oh, I missed nine, the seven. I missed the seven. Nine from power attack, two from the weapon, and the seven from my strength. Okay. Okay. So, what is that total? Okay, well, I've got to, <laughs> I've got to do an extreme <laughs> amount of math here. <laughs> Hold up. My, my stinking phone. Um, there it is. Okay. Well, hey, dog. Well, that's 18 times 8, so that... <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm giddy. This is fantastic. 18 times 8 is already a gross. All right. <laughs> Plus 12. Wait, so each of these gets multiplied. Huh? Yes, you make the total and then you multiply by eight. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, are you ready? Yeah. Are a hundred are almost a hundred damage. It's uh, I can't do math that fast. But your total, your total is two. <laughs> so. I hit as much as Kelsico. <laughs> this is a CR12 mature adult black dragon. Oh, God. 284. <laughs> <laughs> so this was over its entire HP with an epic crit. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. This is fantastic. The details, the details are, however, <laughs> upon the sword... Entering into the dragon, you feel something off, Jeff, something different. Something that you have not seen, something that you have not heard of. I'm very glad you are, in a sense, where you are in the campaign to see this, because now you will know what this is by association. If it had been as early as this was come up with, you would not have known until the truth was revealed to you. Oh my god. As the sword passes the dragon... Upon entry, 
Their ready black dragon goes darker. Its form vanishes into a pitch black dragon shaped void. Oh my god! With no space inside of it. <laughs> That's how she killed the Avalanche. An immovable space. An empty space. Oh, Jesus. Mere seconds afterwards, still stunned in disbelief <laughs> about a sword erasing a creature from time and space. <laughs> You hear a thunderous <laughs> clap resounding for hundreds of miles around you, and a booming voice, well done, mortal. Jesus, oh my god. <laughs> Out of the sky, and into the marsh, straight to the hilt, lands a colossally large sword. The hilt sticking up some oh my god, it's the orcish god. Out of the ground. You recognize it only by association, only by legend. The shape of it and the unique, burnished, adamantine color that appears still liquid and molten on the surface is known to be Gorum Sword, the god of war. Oh my god, it's the Orcish god. Shock would be so jealous. Dog, don't eat my die. I am Ares! <laughs> Your character now is Magnus Sword Wielder. You are the one who has Gorm's weapon. This will also change this fight in a fairly significant way. <laughs> no way, you don't, you don't freaking think. <laughs> oh my god. Now, the one advantage to all this from my perspective. Oh my god. From my perspective is, is that Magic artifact weapons still don't even take an incredibly low character completely out of the stratosphere and power. So not everything is easy for you now, or at least in this character. However, this sword changes things. That sound changes things. You weren't the only one who saw that. You weren't the only one who felt that. That's known. So I'm going home tonight and I'm doing some rewriting later. Oh some fairly serious writing for some bits. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeff, I'm going to say this is still part of your turn because I think it's fair enough at this point. Oh my god. Consider this extra move action from what are you going to do to the sword? Touch it, touch it, touch <laughs> the it. The actual blade is way too large to ever use. Touch it. Course. It's massively large. It is literally a colossally sized great sword. What am I going to do with it? Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. I don't know. I'm going to touch it, touch it, touch it. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Touch it, touch it, touch it. see what happens. You grasp the hilt and feel that molten pool melting into itself heatlessly to you. But you still see embers and fires in the blade of the sword. It shrinks and forms into what looks like a formless pole. And then reshapes again into a large size greatsword. Nikki, you have a large person? That for you is light as a feather. Never mind. Than your current sword. It feels comfortable. It feels right. And intuitively, it feels more powerful magically than any sword you've ever wielded. Beyond that, you will have to actually experiment with the blade and figure out its properties. As, again, there's legends that such a thing existed, or rather, he is, de Gorm is depicted wielding this weapon in the artwork of the first battle, which supposedly spawned his existence. Oh my god. Shock would be so jealous! Shock would be a bit jealous, and that's going to come up. Um, Jeff, I love you, I know this is an exciting moment for you. This character may die because of this sword. <laughs> At this point in life... He may or may not even want to keep it. However, he has propelled himself in a significant way on the world stage. And we'll talk about exactly uh, how that happens later <laughs> in 